Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Grant EduPack. In this video, we will be focusing on the limit stage, which allows us to put in constraints such as minimum and maximum values for properties. This step enables us to further narrow down our candidate materials during a material selection. For this tutorial, we will use the introductory level one database. Click the chart select function in the main toolbar. In selection stages, we have the options to create a chart, set a limit, or filter using a tree stage. For now, we will focus on the limit feature. By clicking on limit, a new tab opens within the software. Three buttons are at the top of the page, settings, apply, and clear. A list of properties are displayed underneath. Additional information about this stage and other aspects of the software can be accessed through the online help here and video tutorials here. Note that in the limit stage, we can find three types of attributes. Numeric attributes use numerical limits, such as minimum, maximum, or range values. Discrete attributes enable us to select discrete values from a list. More than one value may be selected. Logical attributes are attributes which accept true or false data. Let's explore how each of these attributes are displayed within the limit stage. Take a look at the mechanical properties by clicking on the header. The mechanical properties from the material records for this database are displayed here. For more information on a specific property, for example, fracture toughness, we can open the relevant science note by clicking on the name. The bar chart icon here displays the typical values of the property for different classes of material. Hovering over a bar shows the exact range. The x-axis label gives descriptions for materials at the extrema. Materials with low fracture toughness are brittle, while materials with high fracture toughness are tough. To set a limit for this numerical attribute, we simply type the minimum or maximum acceptable values in these boxes. For our example, let's choose materials with a fracture toughness greater than 10. We will enter our minimum value here to remove any materials with a value below our limit. Press apply to apply the limit. The materials which pass this selection stage are displayed in the results window in the left-hand selection project panel. We can see 20 out of 69 materials passed our constraint of a fracture toughness higher than 10 megapascal per meter squared. If we want to apply additional limits, we can either create a new limit stage, or we can enter additional constraints in this stage. Let's add other limits in the same stage. The price of a material is often a consideration during design. Price is found under general properties. For example, we want to identify a material that costs less than $5 per kilogram by entering a maximum limit. This removes any materials with a price above $5 per kilogram. In this limit example, our design could also require a high degree of thermal conductivity. In thermal properties, select good conductor from the drop-down menu next to the discrete attribute, thermal conductor or insulator. We may want materials which are also recyclable. Under eco properties, we can select the logical attribute recycle by clicking the tick box. Now we have chosen four limits to refine the selection of our records. Applying these additional constraints, we can see the updated results list in the results window. We now have nine candidate materials based on our constraints. In this how-to video, we have covered how to use the limit stage to put constraints on our data set of interest within Grant to EduPack. Links to tutorials on how to create and format charts as well as how to use the tree stage to further narrow down a material selection project can be found in the description below. Links to additional resources for Grant to EduPack and other ANSYS software can also be found in the description. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.